It's winter, so a lot of pet owners wonder if their animals need to use their flea and tick medicines. Patty Spittler is here, brought to you by Pet Pals TV, along with certified veterinary journalist and investigative Pet Pals reporter from Noah's Tom Doc. Hi. Good morning, guys. Thanks Good for being morning. here. So I was just telling you, I'm one of those people that I forgot to give my dog his flea and tick medicine. I'm supposed to do it the first of the month, so I'm still going to do it when I go home. But yeah. you still need to do this, even though it's cold. Yeah. People think it's cold. Well, the bugs don't bite when it's cold. Mm -hmm. They do. They really do. And what we forget about is that fleas can actually survive in freezing temperatures. And wow. think about outside even, okay? Outside where that dryer vent comes out. Mm -hmm. That's a little microclimate. That's mm -hmm. not freezing. They live there. in that area? They live in that area. And, of course, they live in our homes. Mosquitoes overwinter and hibernate. And, you know, what was it on New Year's Day? It was 60 degrees. Yeah. Boom. Huh. Mosquitoes are coming out. Yeah. So, really, keep them on all year round, every 30 days. It's just the best thing to do. And I think of it, too, with people traveling and putting them in kennels and whatnot, probably very necessary there. Or even just getting groomed. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to a place where there are higher risk factors, more parasites. And we think about dog parks, too. Mm. Oh, yeah. All these products help protect against intestinal parasites as well. So, you go to the dog park. That is worm central out there. Right, right. What about a cat if they're mostly indoor, but then you have an outdoor animal like a dog in your house? I'm just thinking for myself. They can bring in, too. I mean, yeah. they, they have right, the dogs are going to bring in, the outdoor cats are going to bring in. And so any household that has pets that go outside, all the pets, even the ones that don't go outside, should be on parasite prevention. That's okay. going to keep it safe. And we have some pictures, too, of uh, pets that are getting their shots or getting their... Oh, the shots continue, too, all the time. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. All that. Just keep and going the product, yeah, yeah. with your veterinarian. I mean, twice a year exams are best for mm -hmm. our pets because they can't talk to us. They can't tell us oh. where they hurt. Mm -hmm. um, and they do age oh. faster than we do. So, absolutely, let's keep oh. them on. Oh, that great Dane was so wonderful. He's such well, a dog. Speaking of uh, like the monthly medicine, mm -hmm. I th I recently found out that the heart guard you don't necessarily have to do anymore because they have the shot for it too, which mm -hmm. was really helpful for us pet owners that might forget to give the yeah. medicine once in a while. Exactly, if you're not compliant or you can't be compliant, and I'm the same way, go ahead and get that pro heart injection, and you can ask your veterinarian about it. Okay, I'm pointing at peak. This is mm -hmm. uh, I know this is bad, and apparently antifreeze. I never tried it myself, but they say it tastes good. It's, it's very sweet. Ethylene mm -hmm. glycol is very sweet. Is that so? You don't want that can be very dangerous. Right, it? and it's a small amount. It's like a teaspoon for a cat or a 10 pound oh, dog. Wow. Yeah, a tiny amount. So if you see your pet acting drunk, if you know that they've got that, oh. get to your veterinarian right away because right it will put them in kidney then, failure. Sidewalks, we clear them, we put salt out, but that can be bad, especially for your pets. For their, for their paws. Yeah, for their paws more than anything else, to so just wipe off their feet. Mm -hmm. There are some crazy dogs that will get out there and just want to eat it. Mm. Um, and that can cause, they're salt, so they're kind of safe, but if they eat a lot of them, it can cause electrolyte imbalances, of course, vomiting as well. So look out for that, but then try to prevent it in the first place. Are there pet safe ones? There are, but not that safe. They're okay. safer, but not safe. Because oh. I got something that said that they were safe for pets. but It's, it's still assault. They'll still cause still problems. Assault. Yep. Okay. Assault. <laughs> assault yeah. with assault. Well, um. and even these times, too, you got to think about your pets as well. Right, because it's the city and the county says if it's less than 20 degrees or if there is a wind chill advisory, you got to bring your pets inside. They get frostbite, just like we do. Yeah. And it's January 7th. It is... Um, your birthday. It is. Someone Thank told you. us. It's yeah. his birthday? Are what? you kidding me? Rita. Rita is our... Uh, oh, no. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Fire assistant. I would say also for PayPal's and everything. Oh. Thank you. Happy birthday. Oh. 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 Oh.
some of the stories you like the best, so we thought we'd share them with you one more time. So that's good. Can I have just a little bit? Take as much take as you taste. want. Absolutely. <laughs> well, of course, Pet Pals TV uh, at 10.30 right here on Wish TV. And before that, we've got Great Day TV at 10 a.m. Right. Lots of good stuff. Is that going to be the best of as well? Yes. We're doing oh, okay. some best of. It's the best of. The best of. Well, you better tune in then, right? Yep. Uh, yep. Thank you, guys. My thank pleasure. You. Happy thank birthday. Thank you so much. Thank you're, you. You're blushing a little bit. I am. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. People you're know how old I am now. You're blushing the pink. Yeah. You're as pink as your shirt. Aww. <laughs> I love it. Uh, well, happy birthday. Thank and you. Patty, way to go pulling off a surprise.